1-0 on Geysa. Bringing in the 82nd Airborne this time. That's Matrin on the right. Brings in the 4th Motorisierte Schützendivision. A division that we have seen a couple of times of him. Winning both games with it in the semi-finals versus Fantix with it. Vulcan likes his airborne divisions quite a lot. Brings around a lot of forward deployment here in game number two. The bands were the 39th and 79th. Both absolutely make sense on Geysa. Both really, really strong on this map. So let's see how it goes. Matrin with the fourth. Coming around with some Mi 24 ds here. Coming around with a good amount of Falcher Megas as well. As Vulcan obviously has a hell of a lot of airborne units coming in on the front line. Um, advantages of fourth. Long range artillery. Um, a bit better, or like a lot more tanks. The better tank is on the other side, but only one tank around. And then a bit more cost efficiency in the infantry in the late game, as you don't have to pay the extra price for your infantry like you do the five extra points that you have to pay for every infantry unit in the 82nd, even if you don't deploy them forward anymore. Like they come in from the normal spawn, you still pay the five point extra, so they are not quite as cost efficient in the late game anymore. Advantages of 82nd, great air tap, um, like a slightly better air tap than 4th, 4th air tap not quite bad, but not quite as high quality. Air, uh, the helicopters are another level as well, and then obviously the more forward deployment at the beginning of the game, pretty good as well here, so will be interesting. And yeah, you can gamble away guys, predictions are up, as Vulcan coming in with 82nd here on the left side. Omvi getting one zone here captured from the get-go. Matrin will come in there quickly as well, though. Mi-24D coming up. SPG-9s moving in here in the north. Falcher Mega Medis will try to get into places. Military police coming in on the other side. 50 Cal and Co. rushing in here into the center, into Charlie zone. SPG 9's on the other side. Moving up. Nope, it's not. Doing well. Military police coming up. 24 D AA moving forward. Maybe it's maybe your browser is stuck, but it's for sure not. Me 24 D coming around. Ultra Mega Medis moving forward. SPG 9's moving around. Military police trying to get some hits in. Not able to do so though. The SPG 9s now unload. We'll start opening fire here. Killing off a couple of transport. Faltering and is getting into nice spots here. And yeah, that flank here is what you have to abuse as red side. Like, the flanks are your strong suits. The center, you have to hold out in. Um, it's a bit hard against forward deployment units though. But you have to be a bit careful here as Matrine. Uh, maybe giving up a tick in the center for a while, but you can win the flanks. You have the better territory around here. You have the better roads down here. So you can push and put pressure on Foxtrot way easier than the other side can push Alpha. Also, even in the north, you also have a bit better terrain. But center is favored quite heavily towards the blue side. So you have to counter that with playing around it. Going head strong into the center. You have to be really, really careful and really, really strong to make it work. We saw it working out for Karma. Karma made it work in the finals versus um, Phoenix, so it's not impossible. Phoenix also made it work in the quarterfinals, I think, against Rabbit Scroll. So it's really not impossible to make it work as a red side in the center, but it's a tough job for sure. It's an uphill battle. But the sides are a bit easier. And you can also... Like the reinforcement roads here on the sides are pretty rough for blue sides in the center. So they have to come through via this road into the center. So you, you should really focus on cutting off the center from reinforcements, forcing them to come the slow way over here instead of going into it headstrong. So good movement here from Matrina. I like that. Getting a plane kill here as well. V24 D AA. A bit outgunned here. Doesn't even get a single hit onto the A10. A10 getting a nice hit here. No AA in the north. AA in the south, though, strong enough that the A10 shouldn't come around here. Strellas and two Shilkas should be able to shred that. Whilst Mutschützen moving into the south. Fire Team Dragon not getting a hit. T55 AM2 moving forward. Maybe Fire Team Dragon 
Getting a nice hit here with the Dragon 2, though. A10 lying around. Umvito coming around as well. But yeah, I think Matrin plays this map correct so far. Just like Vulcan did. Like, crapping the center here, crapping the center forced. Right way to play for blue as well. And we'll see. Umvi coming around in the rear. Couple of Humvees getting sold. Toe Humvee with the toe too. Moving up. Mochitsen coming around in numbers. Only <laughs> only the Fireteam Dragon at the moment. Standing in between Matrin and his position. Ooh. Unloads him really late here though. Fireteam Dragon getting an easy kill there. Big mistake. Dragon's now out though. So everything could move forward on top of it now. Not having any shots left. The Shulkas and the T-55s easily could overrun this now. A click in the south would put a lot of pressure onto Vulcan. Uh, not happening right now though. MiG-29 flying around. Modschitzen going down. A-10. Getting some nice kills in here. Yeah, no AA. And MiG-29 being a bit out of position. Not getting any hits in at once. Oh, highly unfortunate there. MiG-29 now on the receiving end of the guns. As the coop comes around. Can that find the kill? Gets a nice hit in. Can it find another one? No. A10 will survive. Oh, MiG-29 trying to finish the job. Gets the kill. Goes down to one hit point. Really scary here for Matrine, but gets the job done. Loses a lot of infantry in the north, though. Needs you need to control this forest. You can't lose that forest as Matrine. That's absolutely crucial. Southern push here, though. Working out now. Finally overwhelmed that fire team. MiG-21 bomber coming around nicely. Ah, slightly off target. But won't go down to the Avenger here. Only one hit in. Five damage, so will take a while to repair, but Matrin needs to keep an eye on this. Only two infantry units here. Should not be too bad, but can't just move in here. Yeah, needs to be careful with his positioning. T-55s can't just roll in there. Airborne will kill it with the uh, AT-4. So... Have to be careful, Mochitsen coming around the south. Alter Jaegers moving up here. M1 IP getting some nice damage onto the Falter Jaegers here. E55 won't be able to deal with it on their own, but airplanes could help out big time. Like, you have enough airplanes to just suicide onto M1 IPs. You have more attack airplanes than the enemy has tanks. So, if you want to get rid of the enemy tanks, you can just do that. Surprised we don't see that already, as it's also somewhat cost efficient, 200 points per M1 IP, and if the enemy doesn't have tanks, your T-55s can go ham. So I would like to see that from Matrin here. Plus two around, Apache, kinda scary. Chilka, not up there to deal with it. So the push of Matrin be slowed down, not quite as coordinated as it could be. Chilka's <laughs> moving up, T-55s moving up, but keeping the pressure up here. Tiny is moving in the north. Ooh, Apache is around. Me 24 DAA trying to get into position. Not really scary for the Apache, but Apache still respects it though. There's the airborne here are scary. Strellas coming around. Right respond in general as the Strellas plus Coop. With the Coop being supplied in a second. Should also be good enough to deal with enemy uh, A10s coming around again. West A10 got killed earlier. Avenger. Scary for the Mi-24D. Gets one c uh, connection. Gets a second one. Can it follow it up? D-55. With a shot on it. Ah, does miss. Apache now. On top of the T-55. Will be able to stun it down before it can find the Avenger. D-55 over here. Still fighting hard. Mi-24D was to retreat. Stralas still will need a while to help out against the Apache. Coop, not quite on range. Not the greatest of range against helicopters. Great range against airplane, not great against helicopters. A stinger over here under fire. Mochitsen moving forward. M1 IP still around and now also protected. HE bomber coming around in the north. Gets a nice bomb onto to some infantry. Second T55 fell before it though. And the Apache still comes moving forward. Avenger on its own, not good enough to stop the MiG 21. No F 15s around on the other side. Couple more stingers coming around. Another Avenger, another Atas. BMP gets overwhelmed by the airborne. Matrin under pressure here has a plus two at the moment. Big 21 bomber for the center. Oh, 
doesn't quite take out the Avenger. Unlucky there. Avenger gets revenge to get off the Stinger. Unfortunate for Matrine that that bomb didn't quite right, get the kill there. Avenger surviving with one hit point there. As it, the bomb was slightly off target. Piney is moving forward against the Airborne. Apache has to be careful now. Strella's coming around. Apache moving as fast forward as it does right now. Might not work out for it. Okay, now moving away. Okay, that's the right moment, but too late. Strellas gets the double connection. First two missiles do find their target. One Apache down. Important kill there. Those Apaches now costing 150 points. They're pretty expensive. Mutschützen moving around in the south. T-55 still having a nice line of sight over here. Keeping up the pressure. But the southern movement here of Matrin not being as decisive as, as it could have been. Got rid of the, I'm not quite sure how, but got rid of the M1IP. Might have been a plane that I missed there. Well, it's another Mi-24D AT comes around. Stingers. Oh no, M1IP is here. What am I talking about? I was like, yeah, I was surprised to not see it anymore. It just moved behind some other units here. M1IP on the fire now. 5 on the other side. Getting heavily hit as well. As Strellas and Pioneers and Morph move around. M1IP down to 4 hit points, but T55 won't be able to finish it off here. Gets another damage in, but has to be really careful. Yeah, the Machine's push here looked really scary, looked really potent, but it got a bit slowed down, got a bit bugged down, not quite as coordinated as it should have been. And that allows Vulcan to hold the line here now, outside of the zone. If Matrin could have pushed in into this section, maybe get an AT, ATGM down here or in here. That would have looked quite different. Vulcan now feeling comfortable. Gets the CV in the rear now. Stinger versus Mi 24D. Pretty good setup as well. No CV, uh, no recon units up here for Matrin right now. Brings in a mod of terror now. But in general, maybe a bit slow with that. More T 55s for the north. Heavy Hawk did retreat there. Yes. Matrin. Finally brings in the Bomber here. And one IP is gone though. Stingers don't get killed by it. And the MiG-21 has to be careful. Doesn't get killed. Is lucky there. Two Avengers over here. One of them gets killed by the MiG-21. But the Atas finds the kill. Not really effective there. MiG-21's by now more expensive than the Atas. Atas has more availability. So these bombing runs not working out. Also, yeah, I don't know why there is no defensive whatsoever over here. An SPG-9 over here would be absolutely sufficient, but infantry is able to get in here. And that is highly annoying for Matrin. Matrin up to a plus two now with T-55 leader in the center. Two CVs coming in for Vulcan though to contest the zone and still 28 minutes. So yes, Matrin has a 500 point advantage, but defending that won't be easy. No artillery for Matrin just yet. Interesting. Like I feel like the inf infantry, uh, the artillery advantage is one of the big things that you can't push. Avenger here doesn't quite get hit by the RPG. A bit unfortunate there for Matrine. Not finding the connection. Stingers get the Me Too down here. 24D dis did disengage as well. Me Too helicopter most likely will go down. Ah, Stingers not quite having the light of sight just yet. Okay, but they will find it eventually. We'll find the kill. Recon helicopter down here. TV's on the way for Vulcan. One for the contest over here, one for the rear line. But T-55s move around in the north, but with the airborne there, they won't survive for long. Fellas disengaging a bit, M1IP coming around there, plus two still for Matrine. Ah, this is... This is problematic here. Plus two still ticking. Goes up to around... 600 point advantage brings in some watchers from the south like really that's that's the this advantage is what you have to push with red side doing a good job there but just so far not quite good enough not having the contest on the rear zone not being around to roll up the center from down below strella coming around nicely now no tr engineered dragons around here the toe in the rear is kind of scary but a couple more dragons would be helpful here Toe 2 a bit out of position to help out here as well. 
Heavy Hawk at least does disengage afterwards though. Engineer, airborne engineers here will die. Yeah, there they go. Couple more infantry into the center could be nice. SPG 9 for the south, pretty helpful. Apache gets a kill there. Let's get more units roll in here. Yes. Pioneers try to hold the line against the airborne M1 IP though. Does find them. Does good damage. Ah, Mod Schützen. Ah, missed their first shot. The first sh side shot here with the RPG 7 VL. Could have done a hell of a lot of damage. Frontally, they don't do much. Bit unfortunate there. Strella's now under. It sold as well. Mi 24 d though. From the rear. Doing good enough damage. Coming in nicely against the engineers. Oh, Mi 24 d under fire by Stingers. But at least get one of the air one engineers. Air one's heavily stunned down as well. Stingers are scary though. Get two hits in the Mi 24 ds They will have to repair here. Atas moving forwards as well to get some stingers onto them as well. Won't be able to connect though. Has to be careful of the Strella. T55 moving forward. Will get the first shot against the M1 IP. But has to be careful of the retaliation. Yeah, going down to one hit point here. M1 IP does now get away. But anti Atas with its Hydra rockets finished the job. So the fight over here is still painful for Matrine. But pushing in with more Mochitsen from over here. And that's the right move. Bit more... Like one or two artillery pieces in my eyes. Okay, first Akatsia on the battlefield. I like that. H hitting the Stingers here, for example, in the south. Or stuff like that. Or hitting the infantry up here in the north. Strellas. Ooh. Ooh, one Strella falling. The Strellas here are really, really necessary. Losing them is really painful. I'm not sure why they didn't move earlier. Ah, second Strella. Most likely under fire in a second as well. No, out of 84s. Okay. 84s won't be able to connect there. Me 24 ds Risking it once more. But not quite having line of sight over here. Stinger still around. Stinger still having three shots. Three opportunities. But once on the fire over here. M1IP moving forward. Motchitsen here. Not quite finding a connection onto the M1IP. Stinger will try to get another shot off. Won't find the connection there. B24D. Should get the hell out of there though. Stinger on its last shot now. Oh, Mi-24D doesn't disengage, gets killed off. Ah, uh, painful. M1 IP moving forward, Motchitsen. And Pioneers could do some damage there, Strella still around. Push from the south here, A-10 coming around though. No coop in the south to help out. Only short range AA, Strella over here got killed off as well. All AA got killed off in... What happened to the... Oh no! What happened to the AA, Mr. Matrine? What happened to the AA? Needs AA in the south again. Shilkas and Coops and... Yeah, Sh Shilkas and Strella's both down in the south. Big 21 bomber coming around. F-15 on the other side this time around though. Ah, Strella and Coop could be dangerous though. Coop's not quite getting the connections yet. F-15 trying to come around. Ah, Coop's just really not getting the connections. Akatsia. Yeah, now going for the Stingers here. Good first target. And thanks for the uh, subscription, Utrif. And yeah, more lovely Warno. More lovely Warno finals here. As the Stingers are under fire. Should go down here to that artillery fire. Or at least take heavy damage. Yeah, no, first one down, second one might fall to a direct hit as well. Yeah, there we go. Both stingers down. Good hits there. I can see us starting to pay off. Has a lot to work in front of it, but for now, there's still a lot of time. 22 minutes. Matrin still in a pretty decent position when it comes to just the position on the board. Losing the AA down here is painful, though. But Conquer is now getting into nice spots, and 1IP can't laugh about them. 17 frontal armor is nice and all, but yeah. Okay, now CV coming in for Matrin. Actually, will stop the take. We'll keep the advantage for Matrin for a while. And Vulcan has to find a solution. Vulcan coming in with some of the 105mm artillery pieces. They are pretty cheap and have a good rate of fire. Motchitsen versus Airborne. Like 8 rate of fire now. Pretty helpful on them. But they can be counter battery quite easily. A10 coming around. Coop getting two good hits in. Can it find a third hit? No, it can't. 
but it doesn't get killed off by the rocket at least. A10 moving around again. Coop needs a repair. Engaging for now. A10 trying to find the Mod Schützen here. Mod Schützen should get out of this building. And rocket relatively low on ammo. M1 IP here moving around. Of Clarice have to be careful of how to use their RPGs. Shouldn't move it frontally, but once the M1 IP is moving around, Mod Schützen coming in on the north. Supply truck trying to come in here as well. Resupplying the stingers. 55s on the other side. Uh, RPG shooting too early here of the off clearer. Only gonna deal one hit per frontal hit. SU-22 though, good enough to kill it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Also no AA to stop the SU-22, so it will come around and will be able to bomb one more M1 IP. F-15, LGB on the other side. Coming in for the T-55. F-16, LGB. Oop, not finding the connections. Ah, gets a hit in now. Oop in the north. Can that find the kill? Oh, unfortunate. Much it's under fire. Sprite dark, nearly empty here. That's the coop. <coughs> Goes up to three, two missiles again. CV over here gets killed off. Vulcan back to a plus two. The airborne's helped out doing the job there together with the artillery. And one IP still in the rear. It's a close game here. And Machine does the right move here with the play in the south. Mod Schützen running over the engineers. Engineers under heavy pressure. Gets killed off. We'll be hitting the airborne's over here. Getting some nice hits in. T-55 trying to help out. Airborne over here under fire as well. Mod Schützen moving forward. Yeah. Moving up. Yeah, one leader. 12 hit points. Quite survivable. He needs a lot of artillery to kill this. So it's seeing like Katsia for sure not able to do it. Wise choice there as a leader for Vulcan for the front zone. But Matrin is pushing in from the south again. M1 IP tried to move forward again. Under heavy fire here though. No CV is in front of it. Uh, no, no recon in front of it. Goes down to one hit point, Conquerors, dealing a good amount of damage. Couple of M67s coming around on the north. Still under fire by the SPG. Ah, but they can't find the kill. SPG, Recon, UATS, and the T55 in the south as well. Toe 2 here though, pretty scary. Oop, number 2 coming around in the south. Good investment in my eyes. Artillery helping out against the engine, airborne engineers here. Stinger a bit out of position here. To help against the Mi-24D. So the airborne and the airborne engineer here most likely will get killed off. The airborne already falling. Airborne engineer under heavy fire. Ah, Avenger though finds the Mi-24D. 24D has to get the hell out of there. Breaks line of sight last second. Down to two hit points. We'll have to run a long way to get away from this. Airborne engineer still around. Two pioneers coming in on the other side. Another T-55 moving up here. Toe 2 out of missiles, but that can't do much. The Akatsia needs to keep shooting. Shooting onto the Toe 2 here now. That's a nice target. M1 IP gets resupplied over here. SPG helping out against the Airborne. Airborne can't really hold on their own there. Vulcan still under heavy pressure in the south. Is now ahead in points for the first time though. So... Matrin, 17 minutes to turn this around. Has the better late game in my eyes. Especially once all the M1 IPs are down. A couple of them already have fallen. Still two on the battlefield for now though. But without them, them the T-55s can do a lot of harm. SU-22 now. Coming around for military police, that's not a worthwhile target. Maybe he expects there to be something CV-like, but... With the amount of stingers here, this SU-22 move does seem like a big mistake. Second SU-22. Oh, tries to kill the Air 1 leader. Does only three da deal 3 damage, though both SU-22s are down. That looked like a big mistake in my eyes. But Pioneers and Co moving on. It might not matter. At least the military police here is down. And 
allows the SPWs to move a bit further forward. Avenger on the fire. Shilka moving up, T-55. Shilka really important. Apache already on the way here, but Shilkas can zone that out. A bit more infantry here would be nice right now for Matrin. But Vulcan not having super much here in the center. There's one M M1 IP here. Pretty scary. Akatsia. Trying to help out with some nice artillery around here. Northern artillery shots not quite on target. We'll use some resupply, MTLB. Moving up to the front line, but Matrin in a decent spot. Just has to make it a take now. Just has to make it a take. Brings in another CV for the center. Vulcan up. 100 something points. 15 minutes, 60 minutes still remaining. So more than enough time to turn this around. And I think Matrin is playing this map absolutely right. And I feel like that's absolutely the way of how to play the red zone. I feel like people complain too much about the zones when the map itself in its completion is not quite as imbalanced as people make it out to be. <laughs> um, yeah, the zones are annoying, but you can play around that quite a bit. And I think Matwin is doing that nicely right now. The Vulcan is not giving up easily. Loses another bomber here. Apache and Heavy Hawk have to disengage. Apache disengaging to the rear. Another Heavy Hawk around. Gets one T-55. Shilka not moving up. Tick is delayed now though. And one IP moving forward. Oh, not quite sure what it is firing upon. But it firing at anything right now is kind of scary. Heavy Hawk under fire in the north though. Shilka really low in accuracy. Gets the stun, doesn't get the damage. Apache trying to come around, trying to find an ATGM. Doesn't find the ATGM hit though. Shilka coming in with some nice hits here, getting stun on the Apache as well, getting good damage on the Apache in general. Apache won't fall here though. Artillery still flying around. Toe 2 under heavy fire. M1 IP went down here, got killed off. Another M1 IP being called in. SU22 AT flying around. In the south. Vulcan still disengaged, but Matrin could push the issue there eventually as well. Two coops versus an F-15. Could work out here for Matrin. Shilka in the center as well. Ooh, F-15 taking heavy damage down to two hit points. MiG-29 won't connect. Has to get the hell out of there. Second F-15 coming around. Still two Shilkas in the center though. One of them still heavily stressed out, but not fully stressed out. Any more coop in the north could connect. If that connects, the, the F-15 is down. No. F-15 will survive for now. S-22 still flying around. Matrin not quite finding the tick yet. Totu going down. Another M1 IP coming up. CB still alive for Vulcan here. Akatsias could maybe fire a bit more now again. Try to help out over here. Yeah, there's more infantry is coming in. Infantry really important. T-55 is also really nice. One M1 IP here. Pretty far out in the open. Bit bad positioning here by Vulcan on these tanks. Tries to smoke off. Gets it last second before the Conquerors can connect. 200 point advantage. Not much. 30 minutes remaining. And... SPG-9s and Airborne's on the fire. Conquerors... Not quite getting any contact though. T-55 under fire by the Toe 2. Toe 2 easily gets the one shot there. Alcatzia is not firing at the moment. Alcatzia also never did the counter battery. Vulcan currently not firing on the other side either. A10 coming around though. M1 IP under heavy fire. Two conquerors around there. A10. Uh, what are you trying to kill? SPG 9. Okay, that's a pretty low value target. Coop, at least out of ammo here, one of them. Uh, but there's still the Shilkas and a second Coop, so. Most likely the A-10 would go down anyways. V-50. Driving around here. Trying to find a connection. I could see us now. Uh, mm, you already got the kill there. Don't need to fire on that anymore. 12 minutes. Machine maybe a bit slow here again now. We have three M1 IPs on the battlefield here in the north again. One from the south did rotate around here. No one's in the south anymore, but Toe 2 here would be a good target. 
If this toe 2 falls, the self is completely open again. SPG Knight's not doing any damage, but Modchits can get killed off by the mod, mod off Clever. Everyone yeah, Scout's now trying to move forward, and not sure if that's a great thing to do. Well, tries to spot for the artillery, I guess. T55's moving around here. Everyone Scout's though around. They have 84s. Uh, MiG-29 not getting the connection onto the A-10. A-10 moving forward again. Two Shilka's still around here. Still with a good amount of ammo. pmp ones coming around here as well though. T-55's in the north, unopposed. Stinger's under heavy fire. Stinger's don't have any smoke or anything like that. Modchits and the bmp ones moving forward. A bit too few dragons in my eyes. Fireteam dragon around here now. They are great against T-55s. <coughs> and they are great as zoning tools. But they are coming in maybe in a bit too small numbers. A three here now coming around. BMP-1 under fire. The military police doing a good amount of damage with its recall his rifles. We'll take a good amount of damage here though. BMP-1 still pushing airborne. Leader not in range for it, it's 84. Military police does fall. Mod Schützen moving forward. Kill onto the BMP at least. But airborne leaders pushed into a corner. Could be pushed out. Would be a plus two for our player in red. And the Humvee CP obviously also really open for assaults as well. 50 cal and M1 IP holding the line nicely though. 55 needs to be careful. Matrine may be a bit over eager here now. Oh. Shilka might get the OH scout. Yeah, does get the OH scout. Airborne yeah, Fighting Dragon, though, gets another kill over here. But Omega Maddies. Ooh, is this a side shot? Ah, they don't get the connection. S22 flying around here, though. F15 trying to get the kill. Ah, flying a bit deep here. Coops, get the connection. Get the kill. S22 now can come around from the M1 IP. Doesn't quite get the connection with the first one. Gets the second one, though, and gets killed off in retaliation. Stingers and Avengers especially get the MiG-21 as well. MiG-29, a bit over-eager there. Nice kills, but Matrine still needs points. CV for the self, maybe, and then also something to finally kill off the CVs in the zones here. Like that Humvee, just slightly out of line of sight. Bonkers. Holding their targets here. Ooh, one Shilka down. Second Shilka. Needs to be careful. Needs to deal with the Heavy Hawks. Two Heavy Hawks could overwhelm it though. Okay, it gauges the first one at the right moment. Gets the nice stun. Gets the kill. Fireteam Dragon coming in for it though. That's scary. Loses the Shilka. Heavy Hawk in position. Gets the kill onto the CV in here. But only has little protection for the CV in here now. Has little in the south that can help out. The Conquerors here is in position. Is up to a plus two now. This might be another super close game. T55 already under fire now though. Doesn't have any smoke left anymore. Uh, have to, has to be really careful. As Matrine is coming up there with the points. Needs still a successful push over here though. Needs one more push. Eight minutes. Is closing in the gap quickly here now. F-16 LGB coming in on the other side. Ah, the Avengers do reposition. Allowing the Mi-24 maybe to do some damage here. F-16 LGB. Most likely will go down. Fireteam Dragon coming around. Stinger still on the ass of the Mi-24D. But Fireteam Dragon gets engaged over here. Less than 150 points now. Matrine getting 80 points per minute. Two minutes to victory for Matrine and points for now. Akatsia. Ah, going for the wrong bush. Going for the wrong bush. M1 IP under heavy fire here and has no supply truck to supply it. 55 A's moving in. BMP's moving in. And the T55 over here is still alive. E24 D coming around. Needs to deal with the Bradley. Bradley is the scary unit around here right now for the T55. And the Apache. Shilka on the way? No. But another CV. That's clever. CV for the south, that is. But that's that's even cleverer. As there's little for Vulcan to push the south. Like the infantry CV there. 
Toe too scary. Hopefully it doesn't get kicked. No, shouldn't get killed off by the CB. And it's now only 70 points now. E55A here getting hit. Vulcan brings another CV in here though to contest this zone. Stella is moving forward. Can't lose them though. Bradley on the fire. Obviously the center. If you lose your front line here as Matrin, then you might get overrun completely again. And then it might actually be Vulcan who starts to take again. As Matrin is just really, really close to getting the take here now. Meanwhile, Mochison coming in himself. Me 24D on the fire. Getting heavily hit. Artillery coming in on the other side. Trying to get some bombardment in here. And Matrin is ahead again. Matrin is ahead again. In points. So even if Vulcan contests this zone, as long as Matrin then contests this zone, he still would have an advantage from now on out. Motschitzen coming in the numbers, trying to stop the Avengers here. Everything from Vulcan is moving forward, as Matrin is getting slightly further ahead now. But will lose the CV here most likely to the Apaches. CV under heavy fire. Shilka is on the way, but they are slightly too late. Shilka is not quite on target. C plus two for Matrin now stops. CV of Vulcan HD Gaming is trying to get in here in the north again. We'll try to get a plus two for Vulcan, but Matrin now gets the CV in the south. And as I said, if Vulcan now gets the CV in here, it's still only a draw. So Vulcan needs to get rid of this or capture the whole zone over here to get the points back. Five minutes remaining. Matrin is getting a slight advantage every tick here now. Has a minute of a plus two advantage now with 80 points. So with only 4 minutes 40 remaining, that's a solid advantage. Not quite where you want to be just yet though. You want to get as much as possible. Akatsias will want to get rid of this airborne leader here. Motschitzen coming forward. Airborne leader though has an 84. So you have to be careful. Airborne engineers around there as well. Mi 24D. Getting a good amount of kills here. Akatsias not quite able to get the Apache rockets. Before they get killed off by the Bradleys. Vulturemagers getting some nice kills over here though. M1 IP should get rid of the T55. Rapira trying to help out. Yeah, one leader help out as well. Getting the kill there. More T55s being called in. Four minutes remaining. CV himself still alive. F111 under heavy fire. MiG 29 versus F15s. F15s get the kill. It's nearly 100 points advantage here for Matrim. Is that good enough to get the win here? Four minutes remaining. SPG-9 versus Vulture Megas over here, Motschitzen. Finding some nice hits. SPG-9s versus Toe 2. An A-10 rocket coming around for it all. Motschitzen leader should be careful. Ah, not sure if this has line of sight onto the Motschitzen leader. They are relatively blind. SPG-9 gets the kill there. Everyone scout doesn't have the connection. So the A-10 doesn't have a target just yet. OH scout coming forward though. That's scary. Coop not in position to kill the OH scout. But the A-10 not coming around in the first run. Three minutes remaining. Air 1 leader down to eight hit points. M1 IP down over here. Air 1 leaders under fire now. T-55s won't, don't want to get too close though. Oh, they're getting too close. Air 1 leader still moving though. Finally, start shooting. Do get the first hit in. Can they get a second hit? Yes, they can. Find the kill. Hillary will try to find them. SU-22 HE can do the job as well. CV in the south is down. As the rockets got the kill there. But it's still Matrin with the lead here now. Another CV would be needed for Vulcan there. It's less than a minute of plus two take. Maybe killing the T-55 could do it as well. But A-10 most likely on the way down. Won't be able to get in there. CV for Vulcan. Two CVs coming in. His artillery out of ammo. At least a couple of them. These still could try to kill the T-55, but the T-55 versus 105mm should be absolutely fine. Meanwhile, little AA here left on Vulcan's side. And 
still three me 24 Ds. So the Humvee CV might actually be the unit that falls here. And Matrine playing a really good game here. Vulcan did a good job in the early game, but did leave this flank really exposed. And yeah, that's the way to victory for the red side. Good positional play by Matrine. Not worrying too much about the zone itself. Having the defensive line that he needed here. Good back and forth here. Vulcan doing some great micro here. Matrine slipping up a bit here for a while. That's why it's so close here in the end. But it's still the Matrine victory here. One minute remaining. M1 IP moving forward. BMP1 under fire. SU22 coming around. Edgy chilling out. One minute remaining. Me24P flying around. BTR coming into the center. Estrella versus Heavy Hawk. Not quite finding the connection. Okay, gets one hit in. 44 seconds. Even if Vulcan would find it right now, it might still be enough, but it isn't. And Vulcan does surrender here. Giving Matrine the victory in game number two. Really close in kills as well. But Matrine does it here. Tying the game 1 1. Good job. By Matrin. Really well done. Really how you need to play this map. And we're on to the next one. Yeah, absolutely clutch again. Great play from Matrin. Like, he really... Uh, one, one, uh, one on one on how to play Gesa from the weaker side. As I said, it's still slightly... Like, I would still advocate for a slight remapping, re re done, uh, doing of the zone in the center or so, but... The red side is not as terrible as people make it out to be. That's the case with a lot of maps, like, but with case I think it's people hate it more than it does deserve. With that said, let's move on to game number three here, Matrin.